Evaluating Algebraic Expressions To evaluate an algebraic expression means to replace a variable by a particular value and to simplify the expression. For example, solve for 2x plus 3 if x is equal to 4. So to solve for 2x plus 3, we have to replace the variable x with the value given. So the value given for x is 4. Therefore, we will remove this variable, the variable x, and then change it with 4. So now we have 2 times 4. That is from 2x. 2 times 4, just multiply this 2, you will have positive 8. After that, bring down positive 3. 8 plus 3 will give you 11. So 11 is the value of 2x plus 3 if x is equal to 4. Another example, 5m squared minus 6. What is the value of 5m squared minus 6 if m is equal to negative 3? Again, using 5m squared minus 6, just replace m with the value given. So we will have 5, instead of writing m squared, we will write 5 negative 3 squared. We just remove m and change it with negative 3. Then copy negative 6. After that, solve it one by one. Let us start with the number inside the parentheses that is raised to 2. So we have negative 3 raised to 2. It means that we will multiply negative 3 to itself. Negative 3 times negative 3, since both are negative, your answer will be positive. And 3 times 3 will give us positive 9. Again, negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9. Then just bring down negative 6. After that, solve this 2. 5 times 9 will give us 45. Bring down again negative 6. Now we only have 45 minus 6. 45 minus 6 will give us 39. Therefore, the value of 5m squared minus 6, if m is negative 3, is 39. Another example, 4b raised to 4 minus 2b minus 7. Solve for 4b raised to 4 minus 2b minus 7 if b is equal to 2. Again, just replace the variable b with the value given. So 4b raised to 4, it will become 4, 2 raised to 4. We remove b and change it with 2. Same with negative 2b. Negative 2b will become negative 2 times 2. We remove b and change it with positive 2. That is from the given. Then copy negative 7. Okay, let us solve this one by one. Let us start with 4 times 2 raised to 4. 2 raised to 4 means that you will multiply 2 to itself 4 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give us a positive 16. Now we have 4 times 16. Next, negative 2 times 2 will give you negative 4. Then just bring down negative 7. Now, let us multiply this 2. 4 times 16 will give us positive 64. Then copy negative 4 and negative 7. Okay. And now, since the only operation we have here is subtraction, we may just solve it from left to right. Let us start with 64 minus 4, and it will give us positive 60. Bring down negative 7. Then 60 minus 7 will give us positive 53. Another example, 3x minus 10y minus 16. Solve for 3x minus 10y minus 16 if x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9. Simply replace the variable x and the variable y with the given value. Therefore, 3x will become 3 times 7. We remove x and use 7 as the value. Then negative 10y will become 10 times 9. So y is equal to 9. Therefore, we replace y with 9. Then copy 
negative 16. Let us solve this one by one. 3 times 7 will give us 21. Then negative 10 times 9 will give us negative 90. Then just bring down negative 16. After that, since we only have subtraction as the operation for this, solve it from left to right. Let us start with 21 minus 90. 21 minus 90, subtract this 2 and copy the sign of the larger number. Since the larger number is 90 and it is negative, therefore, your answer will also be negative. So 90 minus 21 will give us 69. So we'll have negative 69. Then bring down negative 16. Negative 69 minus 16, both of them are negative. Therefore, you have to add the number then copy their sign. So 69 plus 16 will give us 85 and copy their sign. It will become negative 85. Another 9b squared minus 12b minus 7. Solve for 9b squared minus 12b minus 7 if the value of b is equal to 2 thirds. Just replace the variable b with 2 thirds. So we'll have 9 times 2 thirds squared. Then for negative 12b, it will become negative 12 times 2 thirds. Then copy minus 7. Solve it one by one. Let's start with this term. 2 thirds squared. 2 thirds squared means that you have to multiply 2 thirds to itself. It will become 2 thirds times 2 thirds or 2 times 2 and 3 times 3. So 2 times 2 is 4 and 3 times 3 is 9. Therefore, we have 4 over 9. Then negative 12 times 2 thirds, you just have to multiply this whole number to the numerator. So negative 12 times 2 will give us 24, then copy the denominator. So negative 24 over 3. Copy negative 7. Next, simplify 9 times 4 over 9. Whole number will again be multiplied to the numerator. 9 times 4 will give us 36, so we have 36 over 9. Then negative 24 over 3 can be simplified. 24 divided by 3 will give us negative 8. Then copy negative 7. 36 over 9 can also be simplified by dividing them. 36 divided by 9, you will have positive 4. Then copy negative 8, copy negative 7. So all of these are subtraction again. Therefore, we may just solve this from left to right. 4 minus 8. 4 minus 8 will give us 4. Then copy the sign of the larger number. 8 is larger and it is negative. Therefore, the answer will be negative 4. Copy negative 7. Now we have negative 4 minus 7. Both of them are negative. Therefore, we have to add 4 and 7 and copy their sign. 4 plus 7 will give us 11 and copy the sign. Both of them are negative. Therefore, the answer will be negative 11. Next example, we have 2x squared minus 7 over x minus 8. Solve for 2x squared plus 7 over x minus 8 if x is equal to 3. Now replace the variable x with 3. 2x squared will become 2 times 3 squared, copy positive 7, then x in the denominator will also become positive 3 and copy negative 8. Then let us solve them. Let's start with the numerator. 2 times 3 squared. 3 squared will give us positive 9 because 3 squared means 3 times 3. 3 times 3 will give us positive 9. Copy plus 7. Then for the denominator, we have 3 minus 8. 3 minus 8, when you subtract 3 from 8, you will get 5. Then copy the sign from the larger number. 
and 8 is larger and it's negative, therefore, you will have negative 5. Let's continue. Solve for the numerator. We have 2 times 9. 2 times 9 will give us positive 18. Copy plus 7 and copy negative 5. 18 plus 7, so we are solving for the numerator now. 18 plus 7 will give us 25. 18 plus 7 is equal to positive 25. Then, we still have this denominator, negative 5. 25 over negative 5. Simplify this fraction by dividing them. 25 divided by negative 5 will give us a negative 5.